Four strangers awake in a studio, sitting at a mahjong table. The situation? They need to play mahjong to stay alive. Lose a hand? Lose your clothes. For the winner, 10 million yen and their gambling debts wiped clean. But if the girls lose all their clothes, then they suffer the ultimate penalty. Death. Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans and this is Strip Mahjong Battle Royal. Just as crazy as it sounds. The four girls have run up gambling debts playing online Mahjong. And now they find themselves being broadcast on a pay-per-view channel playing Mahjong for their lives. There's a lawyer, an idol, a housewife and a convenience store worker. The host of the show goes by the name Makakato, although as one of the girls keeps reminding him, he should be MC Kato. He is joined by a bucktooth sidekick called Ranran Ran and a mysterious masked gimp. Your tolerance of this movie will depend on a few factors. 1. Your knowledge of Mahjong. Being a movie about Mahjong, the game is the central element. The characters constantly mention the hands they are playing or hope to win, the tile types and the strategies they can see the other girls using. But your mileage on whether you enjoy this may very well depend on this factor. If you know a lot about Mahjong, then you should be able to understand what the hell is going on. If you know nothing, then you're watching the wrong movie. 2. If you like to see girls being forcibly stripped and humiliated, while the five girls in this movie are attractive, all of them essentially suffer some kind of humiliation. While the movie tries to be comical about it, it's actually rather uncomfortable. If you're the type of person who watches adult movies with the sound off, then you won't like the constant moaning and other noises from the girls. 3. Your ability to withstand the poor acting and writing just to see some flesh. There are much easier methods of seeing naked girls, so unless you like Mahjong, this is probably a waste of your time. There is surely an audience for a movie like this, otherwise it would never have been made. Interesting, this is actually called Episode 1, however in the 10 years since it's come out, the second episode has yet to materialise, so perhaps there wasn't an audience for this after all. My personal bugbear with the movie was the character of Run Run, the sidekick and fellow Mahjong commentator. At times it looks like she's reading her lines off a script just to the left of the camera. There are large pauses in her dialogue and her annoying cat mannerisms get grating very quickly. It's not a fan service movie. It's not an adult movie. It's not an instructional Mahjong movie. So what is this exactly? Well, if you can work it out, please leave me a comment below. Otherwise, it's a struggle to recommend such a weird and obscure movie. This is another Z grade thumbs down. If you've seen it, what did you think? Thank you for watching this review. Please don't forget to press the like button and consider subscribing to support the channel. channel.